hi guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is goodness john and today we're going to be making a bodysuit so i've already drawn out the borderline so those two lines on the paper the top borderline that will be my starting point for this drafting i'll be using my paper my straight ruler curve driller and my pencil or markers so let's get into the video so I'll start by applying my shoulder measurements from the borderline. So my shoulder measurement is 14 divided by 2 is 7. So next I'm going to measure my um, neckline. So my neckline I'm going to be marking 3 inches length and 3 inches depth. So I'll just mark this at the top and at the bottom and use a curve ruler to connect it to give a curve for the neckline. Next, I'm going to go at the edge of the shoulder and drop down by one inch. So just where the shoulder stops, I'll go at that point and go down by one inch and mark that. So after I mark that point, I'll take a ruler and connect the neckline curve to that line I've just marked. So I'll just connect it with a straight line to the line I've just marked. So this it is for a slopey curve because our shoulder is not straight so just so it slopes downwards so next i'll be, I'll be marking my ammo measurement so my ammo measurement is my round bust divided by six plus one and a half and that measurement i'll be taking it by at from the one inch drop so my bust is 38 divided by six that's six and quarter six plus quarter and then i add one and a half inch to it so by the time i finish calculating it was seven seven three quarter so i'll just be marking seven three quarter on from the slope i'll just mark it and draw a straight line across so the next thing i'm going to do is apply the rest of my vertical measurements so from that point so from the shoulder i would start i would measure my bust length my waist length my Shoulder to shoulder to bust length is 10 inches, so I'll mark that. My shoulder to my waist length is 17 inches, I'll mark that as well. And then I'll use a ruler to draw a straight line just the way I drew for the armhole. So next I'm going to measure my crotch length. So my crotch length from my waist is 12, 12 inches. So if you don't know how to measure your crotch length, just sit on a flat surface and measure from your waist wherever your waist is to the top of the surface so mine is 12 inches i will mark that and use a ruler to draw it across so because my paper is not long enough to take my measurement i'm going to be adding paper at the bottom of the of the one i already drafted so i can increase my measurement so from the crotch i'll be going down by one inch so this pattern we are working on currently is the front pattern. So I'll be going down by one inch and then I'll draw a line as well to connect the one inch line. So I'll be drafting my back and front pattern on this, but I'll use a different color of marker to differentiate it. So for the back crotch, it's, it will be longer than the front crotch because it will come to the front to buckle for the bodysuit. So I'm going to extend my back crotch by three inches and then i will mark it and use a ruler to draw across as well now now for where the pants is going to stop so this is totally dependent on you it depends on the length you want it to be so for me i'm going to measure five inches if you want it higher you can take it a little higher if you want it low you can take it a little lower, but don't make it too low otherwise it's, it's going to look weird so i'm going to measure five inches for mine so now i've drawn all my relevant vertical lines so what i'm going to do now is to apply my horizontal measurement so my horizontal measurement i'll be dividing those measurements by four so i'll be applying my horizontal measurement so i can draft my bodysuit pattern so first i'm going to draw my arm, arm hole curve so i'll go to the chest line that's my arm hole line and measure the same measurement i have at the shoulder which is seven inches so i'll mark that and then use a straight line to connect this one inch slope down and the mark i have on the chest line so i'll just draw a straight line and then i'll take the i'll divide that this straight line by two and mark 
the midpoint. So my straight line is seven three quarter. So I'll divide that by two and mark the midpoint. So at this midpoint, I'll go in by half an inch and then I'll mark it. So I'll the next thing I'm going to be doing is connecting my points together. So I'll be connecting the top of the shoulder to the one, half inch and then I'll measure my bust measurement. So my round bust measurement is my round bust is 38, so that's nine and and half. So I'll mark that. So I would also mark it on my bust um, line. So I'll connect the ammo to the half an inch and then to the bust to give me the ammo curve. So I'll use my curve ruler. You can use your free hand if you don't have a curve ruler to do this. Just ensure that it is a, a good curve, a smooth curve. So I'll just connect this together. The next thing I'm going to do, I already have my bust, round bust measurement. So I'm going to go to the waist and apply my round waist measurement. My round waist is 28. So I'll divide my round waist by 4 and mark it. So my round waist divided by 4 is 7. So I'll mark it on the waistline. So next, at the upper hip, I'll apply my round hip measurement. So my round hip is 40. Dividing that by 4 is 10 inches, so I'll mark that as well at the upper hip. So I'll be connecting these lines together. The bust, the bust measurements, the one I tell, I'll first connect the chest line and the, and the bust line together. And then I'll use a curve ruler to connect from the bust to the waist. And then after I've connected this, I'll invert my curve ruler, turn it the other direction and connect from the waist to the hip. Next thing I'm going to do is work on the crotch curve line. So I'm going to go in by one inch at the allowance, so at the one inch allowance and also at the, at the crotch line. So I'll go in, I'll mark one inch and then I'll be connecting that line to the upper hip line so to the five inch below the waist i measured initially i'll mark that also at the back crotch so the the three inches below the crotch line is for the back crotch the upper crotch line the original crotch line is for the front crotch so i'll be connecting the crotch with to the to the upper hip line so the shape of this is also dependent on how you want it to look. So you just maybe use your free hand and sketch how you want it to look. And then and then once you decide, you can now sketch it, sketch your pattern out. So this is dependent on how you want it to look. I'll draw this. After drawing the cover ruler, I didn't like how it how deep it went. So I'm just using my hand to to put pull it out a bit so as I said initially it's dependent on how you want it to look so once I have the shape I want I'm going to use my marker to draw the uh, draw the outline of the front pattern and then I'll start with the back pattern the back pattern is pretty the same with the front pattern just a few things are different so the ammo doesn't it's not as deep as the front pattern so I'll just connect it straight so the ammo is instead of going the half inch in it just follows the the straight line and then curves and then the neckline is different and then the back of the um, curve so the where the crotch I connected the crotch curve is different so I'm going to start with the neckline so my neckline for the back is one and a half inch um, deep so I'll just use a different marker to connect that now for the back arm I'll be connecting from the top of top of the shoulder to the midpoint without going in and then I'll go straight to the bust line so I'm just going to get a curve it's, it's just not as deep as the front curve so I'll draw that for the back 
and then the next thing is the like the bottom area so at the crotch that crotch curve that we drew for the front so i'm going to go back and draw for the back so the back wouldn't be as um slim as the front it could be as slim as the front if you want it so if you want like a tongue effect or something you could do it the way you want but I want mine a bit covered so i'll just draw a curve so once again this is dependent on how you want it to look in the end so i'm just going to curve mine a bit so it covers the bottom just a little more and then i'll connect it to that one inch i have at the bottom i just made a rough sketch of the curve and then used my marker to outline what i have drawn so this part is dependent on how you want it to look now i have my front and back pattern so the part where it's just a blue line and there's no um, black line around it that part is the same measurement for the front and the back so because i have two layers one for the front and one for the back i'll cut out the back pattern and then i'll cut out the outline i saw for the back the black line and then the that will be the under one and then the one on top i'll then cut out all the pattern for the front so i'll have two patterns one for the front and one for the back so you i'm adding one inch allowance across you can decide to put your one allowance at this point on the pattern paper or when you're transferring to fabric that's dependent on you so i'm just adding my allowance just so i don't have to worry about it when i have to transfer to fabric so i will once i'm done with all of this i will cut out my pattern and i'm ready to sew so if you want to add a sleeve you can add a sleeve i have a sleeve pattern tutorial if you don't know how to draft one so it depends so this is just the bodies of the bodysuit i hope this video has been helpful and easy to follow if you have any questions put in a comment section and i'll be able to answer your questions give a thumbs up to this video so at the size i put one inch allowance and then at the bottom i put um half an inch allowance so the allowance at the bottom or at the size depending on the sewing allowance you're going to use or what you're going to do so uh, if you're going to be folding it down or if you're going to be using um you're going to be using buyer to turn it so it's totally dependent on how you're going to be sewing it after i cut out the back pattern i'll split the the front and the back so i'll just cut it out like this and then separate the front and the back so this is the the back i'll just put this aside and then take the other one with the markings on it and then remove out all the i'll just i'll remove the blue line so i'll just use my scissors and trace out the blue marker line that's my front pattern so now my pattern is ready for me to transfer to fabric. If you're interested in seeing how I sew it, it'll be up on my channel. I hope this video has been helpful and easy to follow. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell. Thank you all for watching and see you in my next video.